Hello everyone! Here we get to replace a wireless card inside of our laptop computer. To get started, first we want to unplug our power adapter from our laptop. Afterwards, we want to remove the battery from our laptop. To do so, we have to make sure it's unlocked. We have to use our lever and slide that battery out. There we go. The battery is removed. At this time, we want to access our access panel where the wireless card resides. And that's going to be right here. So I'm going to remove that single screw. Now this depends on your laptop. Some wireless cards may be very difficult to get to. Others might be easy, like this. With the screw out, all I need to do is pop up this panel. And we will have access to the wireless card inside. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. With our zoomed in view now, I'm going to pull back on this black cover here, and this just comes right off. But what we can see is I have my wireless card, and I have three wires coming into it. These three wires are our antenna wires. One's going to be a main, one's going to be an aux, and then there's an MIMO for multiple in, multiple out. Now this is going to be different depending on your wireless card and the laptop that you have. What we need to do next is we're going to remove these wires. Now you need to make sure you consult your manual that came with your laptop, or also you can look up the manual based off of your wireless card model to see what those wires are for. For my laptop, there's numbers here on the wireless card that correspond to the individual numbered wires as well. If you don't have numbers or an organized way to keep track of these, please make sure you take note of where each wire is connected before you replace your card. When you're ready to replace your card, we can just easily pop up each individual wire. You can grab it with your finger or with a safe pair of tweezers and just pull up each wire and you'll see it come off nicely. And again, keep those wires in order for where they connect or have them labeled. After your antenna wires are disconnected, my card has two screws that I need to remove. When I remove these two screws, will have access to removing this card. With both screws out, you can see how this is at about a 45 degree angle, just like we would see, for example, with installing and upgrading RAM, but this pops up automatically. I can take this wireless card with two fingers, and I can pull up and pull out. This wireless card is a mini PCIe, it's not a micro PCIe, which some people call a mini PCIe half height. There's other cards as well, like mini PCIe, which are larger, but this is my mini PCIe. So I would take this out and I'd purchase a new card, make sure it's the same form factor, mini PCIe. I'd slide in my new card, again, about a 45 degree angle. You can have it upwards. When you're ready, you would push down. And now we'll put our two screws back in that we removed previously. With both screws installed, we need to reinstall those antenna wires, and again, correct order is important. My laptop has them labeled. If yours does not, make sure you label them previously to doing a disassembly. I'll take wire 1, which is marked as wire 1, and I will just push it down on the antenna connector on my wireless card. With wire 1 installed, now I'll go ahead and do wire 2 and 3. With the three antenna wires installed, we can close up our access panel again. Also, we can put our little cover on there again, so it's covered up with nice, solid black. With the access panel back on, we will screw that panel back on so it doesn't come off. So last step, there's the battery. We can slide it in. And then also, we can take our power plug we can plug the power plug back in. So we've upgraded our wireless card. Now we just make sure you got the correct drivers in.